Welcome, Digital Trailblazers. I'm Erica Gregory, and welcome to the Digital Trailblazers Success Path Podcast, where we feature up and coming online entrepreneurs and see how they're beginning their journey and walk them through their first steps to building and growing a successful online business from the start. In today's episode, we have Heather Ray Mitchell. Heather, thanks for being here. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, I'm super excited to be here. Um, I am a personal stylist and I teach women specifically how to dress for their body shape and just embrace their skin tone, their color, their colors, and basically dress for the life they want. You know, we all have different, different levels and different times when we need a different style and it's, and most people just kind of stick with the same thing but it allows you mm-hmm. just to express yourself, your personality and who you want to be. So. I love that. How did this all come to be a, become a business for you? So I started out, actually, I was going to med school and I really love how the brain works. I love how, how people make decisions, how people think. And um, I ended up not going to med school. I moved to New York City. I worked in editorial fashion for a long time. And then I got a job in personal styling. And I just fell in love with it. Okay. I, I watched people go from just feeling really unhappy with themselves or really uncomfortable in their own skin and putting on something that just mm-hmm. fits properly or is the right color transform. It was it, it was crazy. It was, it, it's like, it was like a weight loss journey of somebody like losing 90 pounds or something like that, but it was like instant. And I, I loved it. I couldn't, I couldn't have imagined myself doing anything else, shopping all day and then making people feel really good. So I just built on that. Yeah. And, um, I also, through this journey, um, I had struggled with a little bit of depression and I realized that the only thing that really got me out of that was getting dressed every day. You know, it really, mm. how my energy or how I projected myself to the world was greatly affected on what I chose to put onto my body. I mean, it, it even comes yeah. down to like, I love wearing a bright lip color because that's just my personality. But sometimes just putting that on really can change your energy and power that you feel within yourself every day. So, yeah. Absolutely. So So, what are some of the things that you like suggest for people? Like what are some things that are like, is it, is it going like, and maybe it's individualized, but it's like, like going more bold, trying something new or like what, like what, where do you come in and like, what's the advice? So the first thing is always understanding your body shape. I think a lot of people don't understand, like, they don't understand their shape of their body. I had this one client, she was actually petite, and she had been wearing regular size clothes. So she's like 5'2", I'm 5'6", I'm 5'7". Five, five, mm-hmm. She's wearing the same size that I'm wearing, and she is floating in yeah. her clothes. and doesn't understand why she doesn't feel well, or feel, like, feel yeah. attractive. So I put petites yeah. on her, and... And like instant tears came out. She's like, I've never felt so comfortable. And it was like, it was just about wearing the size, the right size. So I think first thing to ever start with is understanding your body shape. And then the second part to start with is just understanding the colors that make you glow. I know that we all tend to gravitate towards black or towards like really admissible colors because Mm -hmm. I think standing out makes us a little bit nervous, but I think, I think clothing, well, I know that clothing is like, it's like your body is a canvas, right? It's, it's art. So yeah, you can express it in any way. If you're all about just having a lazy day, you know, grab your favorite cozy pants and, and put those on. If you're all about going out and meeting people and networking, you need to like leave a mark. So you wear something Mm -hmm. that identifies your personality and don't be afraid of that. Uh, my biggest recommendation yeah. is making sure that you're comfortable in what you're wearing. Just because it's trendy mm. and it says your body shape will fit it doesn't mean that it aligns with your personality. So if you yeah. are not enjoying and you're, fu- you know, like fussing around, like if you saw somebody on camera and they're always fussing around or they're constantly fixing things, all you can see is that. You don't see anything else. Um, yeah. And then also you notice that the person is uncomfortable. So I, 
I think it's it's yeah. really there's a combination of things. You need to understand your body shape, understand your colors, and then just experiment, try things. And if you don't feel yeah. good in it, donate it. Somebody else will. I love that. I love that you get to express yourself. You're you're a, you're a blank canvas. So express yourself and but also feel comfortable and be you. Um so what are how do you work with folks practically? Is it is it one to one? Is it do you have courses? Is it you know what what does that look like? So when I was in New York City, I had this really expensive program which is like not tenable for majority of people. And yeah. that was a struggle. Like I was the majority of the people serving, making $200 an hour for yeah. a set of people that mm -hmm. I didn't get to touch the people that like needed that work to get to being that person. So what I did was I broke it down into workbooks. I created um, the Epic Body Bible. So basically it's a like 50 page workbook. It goes through, it discusses your body shape. And then I discuss each type of top that body shape can wear, each type of bottom, coat, yeah. any any item. And you just can see, you know, like if it's a triangle, you'll actually see the triangle and see how, and you're like, oh, I can. And then you can learn how to constructively shop. Mm -hmm. I, I then created um, a color confidence workbook so you can work through and actually understand your colors, create your own little color scheme. So mm -hmm. then when you're picking your wardrobe, you're really understanding what colors to buy. And then if those colors aren't available per season, maybe you, you don't buy anything that season or you invest in like a leather or a handbag or some really nice boots or whatever, you know, whatever your closet objective is. And then I have a larger workbook that's called the style transformation. It, it takes about 90 days to go through. I let it be self-paced because some days... If you're in your closet, you're going to get a lot done. If you're not in your closet, yeah, you know, it, it's not, it, it doesn't work consistently. So, sure. but the way it, it, the way it is, is sometimes everybody has that in their closet. Your style, yeah. you bought it because you like yeah. that style, but you right. a either don't know how to wear it or you're afraid of what somebody else might think. And I'm like that best friend, but not best friend. That's going to say, please put it on. Yeah. Please try it. See how you feel. Um, one of my favorite lines I use is we, we all put our pants on the same way. Mm. So all pants get put on one leg at a time. Like there's yeah. no, it doesn't matter. It's, you know, you can have the junky pants or the pants you wear every day or those pants that make you feel fabulous. They all go on in the same way. So yeah. it's just, I give them that confidence boost. I do offer um, with the workbooks, I have all three workbook bundle. And then I offer a uh, hour and a half style therapy. And that is just having a conversation. And usually some people just need to talk about it. And there's a way, there's a psychology behind shopping. There's a psychology on why you wear the colors you wear or why you gravitate towards a certain style. And so I try to help bring that out, create a constructive shopping list, and then help them set themselves up for a successful personal closet cleanse. Or there is my Epic Style Makeover, which is the closet cleanse. And I spend about, it's about three and a half hours, mainly because we're just really pulling things out. We start with three different piles and we get to go through all of our different style. There are different styles. They can ask all of the questions. Why? I love this item, but it has a tag on it. Why do I love it? Donate it, not donate it. Um, yeah. And then after that, the thing that I think is really great that I offer for the lower price point is texting. So now you've gotten all this information. Usually I'd go shopping for them and then come back and put it all together. Mm -hmm. Not, every, you know, you, you don't get that privilege. So now you're going out to the store, you have your list and now you can text me. Being in a fitting room and not having your friends be the one to say, oh, that's great. Or, oh, yeah, that looks nice. Like, yeah having me say like, no, is this what we discussed? Is this like what we talked about? Is this the style right. shirt that you're, you're wearing? And so just having that little friend nudging you in the right direction. That's awesome. That seems like really like a lot of fun. <laughs> it, it really is. Um, I, one of my favorite times is in New York, I get a, I get a pool styles. I took my sister with me one day and yeah. uh, we, <laughs> we were in theory and I was like, oh, I got to go work for a little bit. And they just like 
bring out some champagne yeah. and I'm just like pulling clothing and I was like, okay, I'm done. She's like, you just worked. And I was, I was like, yes, yes, I just worked. And it was, it's, I couldn't be happier to, to do this and then finally be able to create something online that's attainable yeah. for almost everybody. That's awesome. So where are you finding your clients? Um, what's working for you in, in the marketing world? So currently it's, it's word of mouth. It's if you've had success with me, you're like, yeah. Hey, go please. Um, coworkers. I threw a lot of events currently right now. I actually just hired somebody to help me with TikTok because I am oblivious and in, in Instagram, I love creating content and videos, but I don't know how to edit or yeah. it just takes me a massive amount of time. Sure. So I'm trying to build my online following. Um, mm -hmm. And that's, that's that is where I think I'm hopeful that that's where I'm going to get the meat of people that I can't actually touch base with. Yeah. I think TikTok is a really fun like place for this type of content. You can have a lot of fun over there and really build an audience quickly. Um, it, there's so much to educate around this too. It's like one of those things like people don't teach us how to dress. They like, were just like, well, make sure you wear clothes, but like, how do we dress for success, for confidence, for all of that? So just being able to be online and like grow a community of people giving and giving value, like that will make a lot of people really interested in more of your products as well, that type of content. So it, the, you, you can have so much fun with it. this topic. Oh, I would, <laughs> I think this is amazing. I think what you're doing is so much fun. It's so helpful. And it's like really just, yeah, I think, um, in ter and then in terms of like nurturing them, right. Continuing to add value, continuing to, um, give them a safe space to ask questions. Right. Um, and then, you know, when they're ready to be that pay paying customer, they're like, I'm obviously going to go to Heather. She's the one who's like filling me up with all of this information anyway. So it's a really smart, yeah. Smart move. I love that. So um, what is next for you in your business? Like, what are you hoping to achieve this year? So my goal is I really just want the workbook bundle to really take hold. I really yeah. want to see a lot of people doing the workbook bundle. And then I want to really kind of create, lack of a better way of saying it, like a little movement around dressing for the life you yeah. want. Because... Yeah. The life I wanted six years ago is different than the life I want today. And then, yeah. you know, if you maybe are a mother, like the life that you are in for three years while your child is one to, you know, zero to three is not going to be the same life from three to six and and so on. And so I just really want to cultivate a community around that. Yeah. One other thing I teach, I teach yoga and okay. I am working on a somatic program to create to learning how to like love your body mm -hmm. and be comfortable in your body and releasing any like any trauma that we've had. I mean, as kids, I think we just naturally have trauma by other kids saying stuff about how we look or yeah. how, you know, how, whatever it is that you've dealt with, maybe it's a parent, maybe yeah. siblings, maybe, I, you know, I don't know, whatever the trauma is. So I really want to take that like movement practice, the breath work, and really bring it into like part of your morning routine. So yeah. it, it comes as ease, like you're, you're excited to pick that color because your energy is about, is about like feeling powerful. I call them like your, your keywords on what you Mm -hmm. on, on, on like what you want to feel for the day. So I really want to bring that into some form of like movement, soft movement yeah. in the morning, giving yourself maybe a little hug or something and just like releasing that negative thought that you have and then putting yeah. on that, that really resonates with you. It's the whole confidence movement. I love it. That seems very, very natural fit. So yeah, cheering you on. I am, this Thanks. is awesome. Um, where can people find you online? So soon to soon on TikTok, um, mm -hmm. everything is under Heather Ray Mitchell or Epic Lounge by HRM, and okay. um, they're all linked together. Yeah. And I, I will have the website up. So I think we talked. We're going to talk about the freebie that I offer. Yeah. And so on the website, you can find my Instagram. I'll take you right there, and I offer a 
body shape worksheet. So you can download the free body shape worksheet, get your measurements. The measurements are really helpful, A, because it helps you shop online and get the proper yeah. size and not get a bunch of things delivered and have to try it on. You already know if it's going to fit or not. Sure. Um, based on standard measurements, then it's about how you feel. Yeah. Or there's the little closet cleanse worksheet where you can just navigate down and start to remove things that don't feel good and you'll start to feel better in your space. So there's multiple ways to connect with me. Also, one of my favorite things on my website is the shop style. So you can actually shop by your body shape. Oh, so you can great. And say, hey, I'm a triangle body shape. Let me click in here and I'm going to start updating weekly. I have an Amazon store for easy access for you to shop your body shape up weekly updates. Awesome. Well, you have so much so many goodies over there. So yeah. make sure we'll put the the links uh, that were everything we just mentioned. The links will be in the description of this video. So definitely go check out Heather. Um, thanks for being here and educating all of us yeah. and sharing your wisdom. This has been so much fun. Thank you so much. I'm glad to have been here. Take care. Thanks. <laughs> Give me a sec.